Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. And today we're going to be covering Isaiah 3 through 4 and Galatians 6. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Judgment on Jerusalem and Judea. Isaiah 3 See now, the Lord, the Lord Almighty, is about to take from Jerusalem and Judea both supply and support. All the supplies of food and all supplies of water. The hero, the warrior, the judge, the prophet, the diviner, and the elder. The captive of the captains of fifty and the men of rank. The counselor, skilled craftsmen, and clever enchanters. I will make near youth their officials. Children will rule over them. People will oppress others. Men against men. Neighbor against neighbor. The young will rise up against the old. The nobody against the honored. A man will seize one of his brothers in his father's house and say, You have a cloak. You be our leader. Take charge of this heap of ruins. But in that day he will cry out, I have no remedy. I have no food or clothing in my house. Do not make me the leader of the people. Jerusalem's beggars, Judea is falling. Their words and deeds are against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. Though they look on their faces, testifies against them. They parade their sins like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them. They have brought disaster upon themselves. Tell the righteous it will be well with them, for they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. Woe to the wicked. Disaster is upon them. They will be paid back for what their hands have done. Youths oppress my people. Women rule over them. My people, your guides, led you astray. They turn you from the path. The Lord takes his place in court. He rises in judgment and to judge the people. The Lord enters into judgment against the elders and leaders of his people. It is you who have ruined my vineyards. The plunder from the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people and girding the faces of the poor? Declares the Lord Almighty. The Lord says, The women of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes, strutting along and with swaying hips, with ornaments jingling on their ankles, and therefore the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. In that day the Lord will snatch away their finery, the bangles, the headbands, and crescent necklaces the earrings and bracelets and veils, the headdresses and anklets and, and sashes, the perfume bottles and charms, the signet rings, the nose rings, the fine robes and the capes, the cloaks, the purses, the mirrors and the linen garments and tiaras and shawls. Instead of fragrance, there will be a stench, instead of a sash, a rope, instead of a well-dressed hair, baldness, instead of fine jewel, uh, clothing, a sackcloth, instead of beauty, branding. Your men will fall by the sword, your warriors in battle. The gates of Zion will laminate and mourn, destitute, and will sit on the ground. Isaiah 4 In that day, seven women will take hold of one man and say, We will eat our own food and provide 
our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. The branches of the Lord. Now in that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of the survivors in Israel. Those who are left in Zion, who remain in Jerusalem, will be called holy, and all who are recorded among the living in Jerusalem. The Lord will wash away the filth of the women of Zion. He will cleanse the bloodstains from Jerusalem by a spirit of judgment and a spirit of fire. Then the Lord will create over all of Mount Zion and over those who assemble there a cloud of smoke by day and a glow of flame, flaming fire by night. Over everything the glory will be a canopy, it will be a shelter and shade from the heat of the day and a refuge and hiding place from the storm and rain. That was Isaiah 3 through 4. Now we will be turning to Galatians 6. Doing good to all. Galatians 6. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in the sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you also will be tempted. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone, without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. Nevertheless, the one who receives instruction in the wood and or the word should share all good things with their instruction. Now do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows, and whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those whose belonging to the family of believers. Not circumcision, but the new creation. See what large letters I use as I write to you with my own hand. Those who want to impress people by means of the flesh are trying to compel you to be circumcised. The only reason they do this is to avoid being persecuted for the cross of Christ. Not even those who are circumcised keep the law, and yet they want you to be circumcised that they may boast about your circumcision in the flesh. May I never boast, except in the course of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. What counts is the new creation peace and mercy to all who follow this rule, to the Israel uh, of God. From now on, let no one cause me trouble, for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. 
and be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. And they all said amen. And that was Galatians 6, which concludes the Bible with Frisco 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Isaiah 5 through 6 and Ephesians uh, 1. Isaiah 5 through 6 and Ephesians 1. That does not make sense. Right, hold on. What did we just cover? Oh, Galatians. Okay. Isaiah 3 through 4 and Galatians 6. Tomorrow will be. Isaiah 5 through 6 and Ephesians 1. Okay. Isaiah 4 through or 3 and 4. Tomorrow 5 and 6. And it was Galatians 6. And now it's going to be Ephesians 1. Okay. Makes more sense to me now. Okay. Thank you, folks. Sorry. Thanks for bearing with on that. I was confusing you. So. Anyway, hey, this here has been Shenandoah Briscoe, your messenger of the Word of God. And I'm going to say, Father, I just thank you for your Word. Because if it were not for your Word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the Word of God. And so, therefore, I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said amen. God bless you, folks. Thanks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. Um, be blessed by God. Come back and see us tomorrow because God will and we will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.